Yo, what's up? Today I'm going to mount this thing here, which is, uh, well, they call it uh, a soundproofing mat in the trunk. I'm no, this is this is not soundproofing. You see, well, barely, maybe 0 0.001 decibel, wait, something. But uh, I'm more looking for the nicer finish. Yeah. So. It just comes wrapped in the package like this and it has uh, 3M tape here and here and then in here you get this um, it's called what is called addition promoter okay and you have these screws they're supposed to fit in there so uh, I prepare them let me show you by the way yeah one of them is like they, they, something okay so I'm going to try to mount it myself. I'm a noob when it comes to mounting. I'm the opposite of rich rebuilds. So uh, let's try. I watched the video beforehand. So see, by default, the Model 3 trunk looks like this. Mm, not the best finish, but you know, I've seen other more premium cars also have this bare metal here. And here is it's partly open. So the subwoofer is mounted in here. So they say that if you open or if you fall on the seat it, you will hear the subwoofer better so it might also mean that when we put on the cover here we will hear the subwoofer slightly less but that's usually not the problem and also the deep frequencies of the subwoofer shouldn't be blocked by this thin material we're going to put in so this is easier to do if you fold the seat and then we have six screws six holes and you're just supposed to you, you, they, will, they will align up perfectly. So what you do is you work halfway. Okay, I'm not sure how to do this, but you see they're supposed to fit. Yeah, they align all of them. So you just, you just poke this part in. Aha, uh, uh -huh, I see, okay, okay. And then you just screw it by hand, but you will tighten it afterwards just just to make it sit and then you do the same with the other one you see just you poke it in the hole and then you screw in it in the hole yeah like this wait how do you how how can you make it go in uh, yeah i think it kind of goes in somehow and then you use a 10 millimeter and you just tighten all of them. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Just tighten them like this. You guess you don't have to tighten it too hard because it's just a very soft and light material. I bet it's just one kilo or something. Yeah, all of them. Oh, what was that sound? Sounds like it broke. Uh, shit. Is it kaput? Oh yeah, okay, you, you don't want to screw it too hard in. Yeah, don't go too deep. Just, I don't know, I've... I don't know how many newton meter this is. Just go, just go gentle, like Asian deep, Asian shallow. That should be good enough. Yeah. There we go. And then I take this addition promoter and we want to clean the surface where we want to I uh, have this uh, 3D, uh, sorry, the 3M tape to stick. So just put this one on, I guess we, whoa, why? Why does it feel like it's been dried out? She, but it smells chemicals. Okay, this surface here. Just rub it. Yeah, yeah rub it like you would rub carbon fiber. And on this side also. And then I guess for this part, well, where, where does that go? Uh, oh, oh yeah, 
You have to stick it here. It's supposed to go there. Oh, like this. So I guess we have to rub that part also. Use the other one, pack number two. We're now taking off the protective tape. I think I will take out this one first. And what, should I take out both of them? No, let's take out this one first. And then we just have to hold it. There, you see? I think the best is that I should go in here, in the trunk, and then what you want to do is press and hold. <sighs> yeah. It's perfect fit, of course, for Model 3. Just press and hold. You want to hold this for about 10 seconds or something to let it stick better. And then the last part here, yeah, just remove this one. And then you have to tuck it in under the, the weather seal in here, or the rubber seal. So it goes right on the edge there, just push it. But this is the first time I do it. I talk like I've done this before, but I haven't. Wait, why doesn't it fit? Or is it just me? I'm a noob. You're supposed to push it. To, you see? I don't know if you guys see it. Yeah, you see, I... Did I not pull it long enough? No, yeah, I did, I did, I did. So it's supposed to fit. Kind of. Oh, this is a poor job for me. Here, you see, okay, okay, kind of push it in there. All right, that works. Okay, all right. Why does it look weird? Like this part here. This part here is too, almost too, uh, too long. Hope it doesn't interfere with the water seal. Okay, I think we should push it a little bit. I just hope we don't break the car. Nice butt. Oh, what's that sound? I think we're done. Ooh. So this is what it looks like after the upgrade. Yeah, I think it looks better. Even though you normally don't see under here. <laughs> yeah, because most people, they see the trunk from here, not from here. But it definitely looks better. And uh, as for the noise, mm, I'm not even going to bother uh, checking the noise. But I will drive around and maybe get a, an impression, but yeah, but let me check something else. Because when I'm sleeping in a car, I always scrape into the hard edges there. I'm gonna check something. Ooh, this is nice. Because uh, you see, here's that new edge. Kind of hard to show you here. There you see. And there is a fairly sharp edge here, metal edge that I tend to rub into when I'm sleeping in the back here. And now, this extra layer here seems to protect me against this sharp edge. So for me, it's definitely worth it. Look, oh, uh, ah, oh. wait, did I misalign this? Well, it, it is within specification. Yeah, nobody's gonna know. So, I like this. Definitely, I like this. See? Huh. Tesla Beyond approved. I took, o I took off those stickers. They were ugly. They're gone now. Yes, you guys will look. Beyond, take off those stickers. Yeah. But this is nice. I can sit here and watch my trunk all day. I don't know about you guys, but it's so nice now. But uh, yes, so you can buy this from uh, Be Good web shop in Norway. And if you use my Tesla Bjorn code, you will get 10% discount from this product. But you can also use that one to get 10% discount from the whole web shop. I don't make anything out of this. This video was not sponsored by them. The money I make from is all the ads in this video. Oh yeah. 
So, and also if you want to buy this from uh, uh, other countries, you can also check out the top test. They, they are the ones who made them and they uh, be good. They import from top test. So, and I also don't make any money from them. It's just, I like this and I want to promote it just like everything else I promote in this channel. So that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoy this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.